joining me here today is Monday, which is where I talk about uh, anything that happened during my writing in the course of a week. I, uh, so this week I wrote in 1000 Korean, which is the third book in my Yakuza Past series. I spent a lot of time, I'm gonna say this right, uh, ah, at the Surai Siru, Surai Temple, which is uh, the Dragon Festival at the temple, which is the Kyo Mizu Temple, which is basically this huge complex. Like, it is huge and there's lots of little minor signs, but the big thing is that it has a uh, main temple that has no nails in its construction. It was made in like 700. So it's like this super old ancient thing. It is a world heritage site. They try to make it one of the modern seven wonders of the world that it failed, but don't tell them that kind of situation. Anyway, so I thought that was gonna be the thing that I talked about, but I found something cuter and deals with Aki's heart hurt. Oh my, and it deals with Aki's heart breaking. So that is obviously the thing I'm going to talk about because nothing brings me more happiness than making my character suffer. So what I found out is also in this big shrine complex, there's lots of little mini other shrines. One of them is the shrine to the love god and it has these two rocks that are 18 meters apart and they're supposed to be like love rocks. <laughs> and what people do is they walk from one to the other and they close their eyes and if you make it from one to the other with your eyes closed then that means you will fight love. <laughs> and um, you can have someone help you out by like telling you like go left, go right, but that just means you're fine love with assistance. That's pretty cute. I thought that was cute. So obviously I wanted my character to fail. <laughs> I double check with Nail Iris because she writes super fucker romance and she's like my gauge like, is this too mean? Because I wanted Aki to fail and I'm like, yeah. Is it too mean if I have Aki fail? And Nell was like, no, he needs to fail. Oh my god. So I made him fail in the most spectacular way. So him and uh, there is a hand that was discovered, a severed hand that a cat had placed on Aki's forefoot. And now it's like, screw this, we're gonna have to stay around because now the cops are gonna think it's us and it's not us, so we need to yell at them. So we'll just stay around the temple complex and wait for them to interrogate us. But they go to the love shrine, which is, you know, so romantic. You know, Aki's never been, so now I was like, you should go do the rock thing. And Aki's like, sure, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna think about now, and then he's gonna love me, and I'm gonna be so cute, it'll be like Amy's fluffy romance stories with Aoi and Soto, and we'll live happily ever after, unlike the first book where she killed the MC. And then, <laughs> so Aki is walking, and he's walking, and now it's like, hey, do you want me to help you? And Aki's like, okay, that's fine, because he obviously does not want to fail crossing this 18 meter, you know, abyss of, of stone. <laughs> and he does, and then Aki trips on the cat and opens his eyes and is basically doomed uh, to never fall in love ever. No, he, he, he can like get a charm or something. So I made Aki kind of a little bit superstitious. Um, which is harder than I think because now I need to look up all these Japanese superstitions. Did you know that you're not supposed to whistle at night or clip your fingernails at night either? So lots of random superstitions that I don't know. I'm sure there's more. Like I knew the the four, like Ichi Ni San, she she is another way to say four, Yon is another way, and she is how you in a lot of uh, the, a lot of death is with the same character, she, so, or said the same way, she, like, shinai is like, die. <laughs> so she, four, is a bad number, like, the US equivalent to, like, 13, it's unlucky, but I think it's even, like, more, because, I mean, instead of saying 13, it's like, die. Anyway, uh, so that was what I spent on working this week, is making Aki suffer. What do you think about Aki suffer, and are you excited? for when the book comes out and he suffers so much. <laughs> for writer, what have you been writing on to? If you're not a writer, then what do you think of, you know, a love rock? Would you walk the love rock way? I think I would. Well, I'm already married, so I probably couldn't. It would be strange if I did it. But if I wasn't married, I would do it. And then I would have to have someone there because I don't want to like bump into people. I'm sure they would like guide me, but then they'd be like, 
you know, get out of here. And I'm like, let's get out of here and get his laughter. Is it right? <laughs> I'm all crying. I'll be the random geisha in that cries. But that was. Remember, uh, you can scratch my loose seller, and that's when I uh, make announcements and talk about releases, and I give you a free short story every single month. So then that was it. Until next time, people. Bye bye.